And guys, an art commemorating 25 years of Rockstar Games has been leaked, and it contains dozens of Easter eggs, including revealing new details about GTA 6. Take a look. So guys, how are you? Sen and Play here again, and guys, you are aware that Rockstar Games has a lot of mysticism behind its history, and some of it is shared with the public through Easter eggs, whether within the games or even in Rockstar promotional arts games. And guys, last week an image was leaked commemorating Rockstar Games 25th anniversary, and there were dozens of Easter eggs and references to his most classic games. And the community even managed to identify a little secret they may have about GTA 6 and something new that we will find in the game. And so, are you curious to check out these details? So stay tuned for today's video and I'll fully analyze this image with you. But first don't hesitate, that's enough leaving a like to strengthen and click the sign up button here, it's free. Activate the bell with all notifications so you don't miss the news about GTA 6 and much more. And so, guys, you are aware that Rockstar Games has several conceptual arts using the company logo that they publish on their official website, make available for people to download or use in some way to promote on their social networks. In fact, many of these arts have mysteries behind them, from some of the company's philosophies, some of Rockstar Games' protests against governments, and even striking references from their games. And so, Rockstar Games recently turned 25 years old. This is because although the first GTA was released back in 1997, at the time the studio was still known as DMA Design, only becoming Rockstar Games in December 1998, which was when Rockstar Games was founded by the Quintet Dan and Sam Hauser, Terry Donovan, Gary Foreman and Jamie King. Therefore, last year, to celebrate 25 years of history, Rockstar Games decided to create iconic art, but it remained a secret. This art was not shared with the public, but it ended up leaking somehow on the GTI forums and consequently went viral around the world. And so, looking firsthand, the image is nothing special, it's just the Rockstar Games logo completely restyled with a metal texture. However, if you look closely, you will see that there are several references to Rockstar's greatest classics and even some little secrets of what is to come. And so, as you know, the analyzers here on our channel have a lot of impact and are already well known, so obviously I stopped to do a mega analysis, detail by detail, of this image and reveal all the secrets that are hidden behind it. And hey, I'm already telling you that there's even news about GTA 6. Well, Guys, here's the full image for you, you know? If you look at it like this, basically, you won't be able to identify anything, just that it's the Rockstar Games logo, you know? A kind of rectangle with the R inside, completely stylized, with a somewhat metallic texture. But if you look carefully, guys, there are a lot of secrets hidden here, okay? First of all, Rockstar Games, it always makes an illusion, you know? To the direction of the company, to the values of the company, with the good side, the bad side, so there are always these references, like, to skulls, there are several of their works in which they make references to angels, demons, skulls, or something like that. And if you look right here at the top, once again, they did that, you know? If you notice, here we have a skull with horns, you know? Which could allude to demons or evil angels. And here on the left side, we already have a normal, traditional skull. You see that even the teeth are different, you know? Here there are some fangs and here it would be a normal mark next to the wings, you know? Here there is a horn, here there is not, which would allude to angels and demons. Once again, they reproduce this here. As you can see on the right, there is a... an evil little angel, you know? He's even smoking a cigarette. And here on the left side, we have a benign little angel, you know? Pot-bellied, you know? Both pot-bellied. There's even a really cool slingshot here. And you see that on the left side, there are different things on the right side, you know, always making this counterpoint. Another very interesting detail here, as I told you, Rockstar Games turned 25 last year, you know, this year it will be 26, and the year the company was founded was 98. Then, they commemorated this by putting it on this plaque. And here are some more allusions to Rockstar Games. Here we have the bear used by Trevor's character during GTA 5 story mode. Here we have the crown that could be an allusion to the Rockstar Warehouse. Down here, folks, we have an eagle, which could very well be the Meriwether logo, you know, which is a security company from GTA 5. Back here, people identified that they could make a reference to a disc, you know, a card break, which could be an allusion to the Midnight Club. Here we have Chop's collar, you know. Here, if you look too, you know, in addition to the angel and the devil, there is also a hand, look. One hand back here, one holding a flower, in here too, you know, I think it's a flower too. 
The quality is a bit low here on Zoom, but let's say that both hands are holding flowers, you know? But if you look more closely, this hand here on the right is a normal hand, you know? And the left hand is a somewhat robotic hand, a half-cybernetic hand. And in the past, around 2021, Rockstar Games made an update on their website that included an image of a robot woman, kind of alluding to GTA 6. So, it's not yet a GTA 6 reference, but I'm bringing this point up, precisely because of this ambiguity that they created here in placing a human hand and a robotic hand, you know? I think it may be related. You will also see here that on the right side, we have a security camera, you know? Which is something that we can see a lot in GTA 5, in the missions, and it is also something that we will possibly see a lot in GTA 6 too. On the left side, we have the Buzzard, which is a helicopter that was added to the GTA franchise from GTA 4, Expansion The Ballad of Gay Tony, it's Yusuf's helicopter, you know? So it's a vehicle that has become very iconic and also reappears in GTA 5. Here too, guys, we have another very interesting counterpoint. Here on the left side, you can see that there is a kind of chain, you know, highlighting this side of the logo here. And on the right side, there is a string that forms a counterpoint, you know. Here it's like a modern rope, you know, metal cord. However, guys, this could make some reference that Rockstar Games is making to the persecutions they end up facing. So much for the law, you know. From people wanting to sue Rockstar Games, politicians, lawyers who go against the company, as well as for rights issues, you know. They may be placing this rope and chain to allude to the issue of freedoms, rights, and to kind of bring a kind of protest. But it doesn't stop there, okay? This is also because if you identify it here on the right side, you can see a punch in English, which is a reference that is present in GTA 3. In GTA Online itself, it came out in the Lowriders DLC. There is a punch in English similar to this. And here we have Franklin's family logo, you know? From Franklin's group, which is families, you know? On the left side we have the counterpoint, which is the rival group of families, which is the Ballas. Here we also have a razor, a razor, which could be a reference both to GTA Vice City, which appears in the game's art, and to the game Manhunt, which is also a classic from Rockstar Games. It is also possible to see another counterpoint here, guys, who have some skull hands here, angels and devils. In the angel's hand there is a knife, which also appears in several Rockstar Games games, and in the devil's hand here there would be an automatic pistol, also making references to the parts used in the game. Here on the left side, guys, we have a reference to the game Bully, you know? That would be the mascot of Bullworth Academy University, you know? A bull or an ox, whatever you want to call it. But it's a very brilliant reference to the game Bully. And there is another reference which is the game Bully also on the right side, which is the snake and the mouse, you know? Which are two animals that appear in the Bullworth Academy logo, in the Bully game logo. So it's a really cool reference. And here we also have a reference, guys, which could be from GTA Vice City, which is a pelican, you know, a flamingo, actually, you know, a flamingo. And it could also be a reference to some of the leaks we found for GTA 6 back in September 2022, which you could see were there, you know. In addition to the animal being present in the game, you can also see it in the official trailer. It is a reference that appears there as a garden decoration. So, it could be a reference to both Vice City and GTA 6, both take place in the same city. Here, guys, Rockstar Games, as you know, you know. This name Rockstar is an allusion to rock artists, you know to musicians, and Rockstar Games has always had a strong connection with this, in addition to the gaming universe, also with the music universe, so much so that they have already made a musical game, which is The Adorator, and we can see here some musical references that can be both linked to Dan Hauser and Sam Hauser's passion for music, as well as a reference to this game. You see there is a table here, a kind of soundboard. On the right side you can also see some reference here, a guitar with faders, and besides, you know, in addition to the music, there are references to Rockstar game styles, you know? Here we have a Molotov cocktail, which is a tool that is present in several games in the GTA franchise. We also have a minigun here. On the left side we also have an AK. We have a Nitro, which could probably be a reference to Midnight Club, you know? Here towards the middle of the image, guys, in the finishing of these flowers, they placed some gas masks both on the right and left side, which could very well also be a reference to GTA Online, you know. The masks that are present in the game, or something that is also coming in GTA 6, but I think it is more likely something related to GTA 5, heists, or something like that, you know. They also included some details here, look, it looks like an olive, you know. But it's actually a canard. There is also a reference here, probably to the game Max Payne, that medicine box with pills, very interesting, falling here. Here we have a Truffade brand vehicle key, which in the universe of the GTA franchise is a Bugatti brand frequency. We also have a ping pong racket here, 
which could be a reference to the game Table Tennis, the first game that Rockstar Games made using the Rage graphics engine. We also have references here to some gambling data. There is a casino file here, it could be a reference to the Diamond Casino, to the gambling games in Red Dead Redemption 2. We also have a bear here, you know? Which could be the Grizzly Bear, a reference also to Red Dead, but also to the game's animals in general, you know? Here on the right side we have the horse, which could be the horses from Red Dead, but this horse here is probably the one with the back on Rodeo Drive, you know? Which is where the bust would be in real life and they put a horse in it so I think that's more likely to be it. So I think this is most likely a reference to GTA 5. Down here, guys, we have Dunnybod, you know? Which is a vehicle already from GTA Online, which arrived through updates, a very well-known, very peculiar vehicle. And here next to it we have nothing less than the Statue of Happiness, a more humanized representation of it, which is that monument there that makes a parody of the Statue of Liberty in New York. In GTA 4, in Liberty City, we have the Statue of Happiness. Here we also have a skateboard, guys, which could be a reference to the game Bully. There's also a skateboard in GTA 5, although you can't use it, but it's probably a reference to the game Bully. Here we also have a crowbar on the right side, an adhesive explosive. We have here, guys, that could be bowling balls, right bro? Also representing a reference to GTA 4. We have it below, you know? The commemorative date, 25 years, and here we also have some very interesting references to Red Dead Redemption 2, you know? Here we have John Marston's hat on the left and Arthur Morgan's hat on the right and also the pieces that were most used by them in the games. Here, you know? On the left side we have the skateboard and on the right side there is an RPG, a bazooka, right bro? Very interesting too. Furthermore, guys, we have this speaker that could be a reference to Beaterator, the GTA Online DLCs, ballots and everything else. And here's also the woman who appears on the cover of GTA 5, you know? Who is the muse of GTA 5, the woman on the beach, is represented here too. Now, this detail here, guys, is the real deal. As you can see here, you can see, you know? Anyone who knows a lot about the GTA franchise, anyone who follows the game a lot, knows that this car here is nothing less than the Bravado Banshee, you know? The car that was there in GTA 4, is there in classic GTAs too, it wasn't Bravado, but there was already the Banshee too. However, this specific model came from GTA 4, it is in GTA 5, it will probably be available in GTA 6. Now, the difference is that if we put the image side by side, I'll ask the editor to put it there, you can see that the cars are different. You can see that it is the Bravado Banshee, however, a different model, it looks like a more updated version. You can see that the bumper has an air intake here, which the original version doesn't have. In the original version it has this grid. You can see that there is a gap in this grid here. But it's inside. But here it is no longer. The bumper is redesigned with a larger grille. With an air intake here on the right side, you know. Outside. The wheel is also not the same model used on the original Banshee. You can see that he has a more striking fender here. It also has a line on the hood. Right here. You can see that there is even a difference in lighting. Which is a line that is not present in the original Banshee. It has a somewhat flatter, straighter front. The headlights too. You can see that the design respects the original design but has a different 3D, you know? An internal part there that is a little different. The driver's leadership here, you know? Where the car's cabin is located, you can also see that it has a more rounded line, different from the original Banshee, which is a slightly straighter roof. And then comes the crease, you know? From the column, you can see that the design of the glass door, oh, is completely rounded, which brings a more modern aspect to the car, you know? A more concept style, I don't really know how to differentiate, you know? What to name this version of this car? but it has a much more modern look, you know. It looks a lot more like Mercedes cars, the GT versions, you know. MG seems to be a much more modern car. So, guys, what you're seeing could be an updated version of the Banshee, which is certainly a car that will be returning from GTA 5 to GTA 6, and it's obvious that Rockstar Games is going to update its look. So, this could be the reference for GTA 6, among all these other references that I showed you here. Remembering, guys, that in total there are 57 references that Rockstar Games included, however, you know? There are some that are already more notable and others that have become more implied. And in addition, they also use this texture here in Rockstar's R, which refers to the textures used in Red Dead Redemption, kind of embedded in the metal, and gave it this very interesting look. But now I want to know your opinion. What did you think of this art celebrating 25 years of Rockstar Games? Why didn't they share it with the public? 
did it end up being leaked to the public? And what did you think of this reference to GTA 6? Is it really a new car or is it simply a restyled version of the Banshee that they used in this art? And is there any reference that I forgot to mention here in the video? So, comment below that your opinion is more than important and let's exchange ideas about it. And if you like the content of this video, don't forget, leave a like to strengthen it, which in addition to supporting our work, shows YouTube that you are interacting with the channel, so whenever there is a new video, YouTube will be there for you. Notifying. Another way to not miss our videos is by clicking the subscribe button below, which is free. Activate the bell with all notifications. Whenever there is news, YouTube will be notifying you. Remembering, guys, that channel members receive videos before everyone else. It has your name scrolling across the screen, access to gifts, exclusive stickers, and much more. Do you want to guarantee all these benefits? So click on the become a member button below and join the set and play mafia too. Or click on the super thanks button. From one Brazilian real, in addition to supporting our work, you leave your personalized message for everyone to see. And go to our social networks, there I always post everything first hand for you and you can also send your questions about new videos just like this one it doesn't stop there no choose one of these videos from a set and play channel which only has videos here for you and continue following us thank you very much for your support i hope you enjoyed more videos on the channel we're together that hug and goodbye